office meeting with President Trump, sparking a media firestorm. Here's a quick refresher of what went down yesterday. You know, they tried to scare me to not wear this hat, my own friends. But this hat, it gives me, it gives me power in a way. When I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. If he don't look good, we don't look good. This is our president. He has to be the freshest, the flyest, the flyest planes. But I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy. I love this guy right here. The sit down setting off CNN's Don Lemon. Don, what did you think? I, Wolf, I listen, I don't there. I have no animosity for um, Kanye West. What I saw was a minstrel show today. Him in front of all of these white people, mostly white people, embarrassing himself and embarrassing Americans, but mostly African Americans. It was so hard to watch. Him sitting there being used by the President of the United States. Lemon taking his disapproval a step further by invoking the late rapper, I'm mean, sorry, the rappers, excuse me, his late mother. This was an embarrassment. Kanye's mother is rolling over in her grave. I spoke to one of her friends today, or texted with one of her friends today from Chicago, Donda's friends. I used to live there. I know him. She said, Donda would be, would, would be embarrassed by this. She would be terribly disturbed by this. And he needs a father figure. He needs someone to help him and to guide him. And he needs a hug more than anything. Kanye, back away from the cameras. Go get some help. And then come back and make your case. Others in the media are also blasting the Kanye Trump summit. Watch this. This is such a blitzkrieg of blathering ignorance on one level. And I say this as a man who loves Kanye West, who admires his genius, and who considers him a friend. This is the kind of conversation that would typically be held between people wearing hospital bracelets. There is a deep sense of betrayal among people who follow hip hop and rap. This was a giant, shiny object in the Oval Office wearing a red hat. That but was if you think you're bonkers. going to get a uh, uh, a thoughtful play-by-play -play and political analysis you're not because that was an assault on our White House. Then why give it all this hype? Why fan the flames of the foolish? And it's not okay what happened here. And celebrities are criticizing Kanye, fellow rapper T.I. posting on Instagram, quote, this is the most repulsive, disgraceful, embarrassing act of desperation and auctioning off of one's soul to gain power I've ever seen. And other Hollywood stars like Chelsea Handler and Rosie O'Donnell also slamming the visit. We could go on and on, but we want to get to the discussion here. Uh, Jesse, let me turn it over to you. The uh, hysteria over this meeting was hot and heavy. Right, so if Kanye is so marginalized and so insignificant and such a clown, why is the media so angry? Mm. Why are they so upset? It's because he's influential, it's because he's making a lot of money, he's very talented, and a lot of people listen to him because he's very popular. And if the black community is open-minded about President Trump, then that poses a real significant threat to Democrats electorally. The Democrats have already written off the white working class, they've written off veterans, they've written off key constituencies traditionally within their party. They have to drive up numbers among minorities in order to stay competitive with Donald Trump in 2020. So when they see this, this isn't good for them. And I remember, you remember, when Kanye West said George Bush doesn't care about black people. And the same media that's criticizing him now applauded him back then. So when you criticize as a black man, a Republican, you're sane. And then when you spread love to a Republican president, you're insane. I don't like how that works. And Donald Trump won about 8% of the black vote. Does that mean all those 8% of African American voters in this country are crazy? They're ignorant, they're all fools. Women who vote for Donald Trump, are they gender traitors? Hispanics who vote for Donald Trump, are they nuts too? It's funny how the media, and they look really small right now, they're trying to dehumanize him. When the media says that voting as a black man for Donald Trump is against your self-interest, who are they to determine who's someone's self-interest? Why can't black Americans determine their own self-interest by themselves? Why do they have to have the liberal media tell them what to do? And if you look at on balance, Donald Trump's trade agenda, his manufacturing agenda, his immigration agenda is beneficial to black voters. 
policy-wise, and you can dislike him for other things, and that's fine. But on balance, I think it's fair for black Americans to say, you know what? I could consider the Trump agenda made in America, make America great again. Yeah, and in, in that scenario you're talking about in, back in 2005, um, at least in the, last, in the recent past, Kanye West has actually apologized for saying that. Media never <laughs> would apologize. And I, was, I just want to say, yeah, I'm part ahead. of the American media, and when he said that about President Bush, I was someone who definitely was highly critical because, again, he didn't know what he was talking about. So here you come and you say, oh, why can't black people be open-minded about President Trump this and that? Hey, guess what, Jesse? By your own measure, 92% of black people said our self-interest is not being served by the agenda being promoted by so this president. So he can't think for himself? No, he, if he was thinking for himself, he would have had some substantive argument to make. Instead, so, here's what he said, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, I put on this hat and it gives me superpower. I really want a father figure and then... You know, he's separated by the desk. He has to get up and walk around. Trump doesn't even get up to hug the guy. He's there hugging Trump like he's holding on. He's trying to get something out of this. So is to Jim me, Brown a fool? No, film? let me let me finish. Is Jesse, Jim Jesse, Brown did a I interrupt Go you? Go ahead. Come on, man. So what I'm saying to you is you hear this man say stuff like, Oh, Trump's on a hero's journey. Maybe he's on a folly. I don't know. But it all it looked like was some guy ranting, and I am, you know, personally offended by the kind of profanity he brought there. I don't understand how anybody can tolerate Joe it. Said it's a big but deal. I don't get <laughs> this. When you had people like Common, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar doing things with President Obama, the right wing went nuts. They said these guys are rappers. Some of them associate with uh, thugs and gangsters. Hey, what about this guy? All of a sudden, the man who's insulted Republicans, the man who has nothing to say other than his hat gives him superpower, is a Republican hero? This is ridiculous. It's absurd. Yeah. And Don Lemon, amen. This is someone who is a shameful example of behavior in the p presence of a powerful just, white man. I, I thought it was shameful how he went after his mom like that. You never go after someone's mother, Juan. You he didn't that. go after his mother. He, he said his mother would things. be rolling up. Yeah, you know, that was a cheap the shot. The audience here, by the way, it you distort, a cheap shot. It wasn't. You distort this whole conversation. This was not about black people or about his impact on the black vote. This is about how white Americans who say, hey, Trump has problems with race, feel about Trump. Now Trump says, hey, look, America, I got a black friend. And a Here's the, the I want to address the, the central argument that Lemon has and others have uh, when you describe somebody as a, a minstrel or as a prop. I've learned in my life that any criticism that can be applied everywhere is useless. It's pointless. For example, I could just as easily look at Don Lemon and say, wow, CNN pulled out their prop. They needed, to, they needed somebody to talk about uh, Kanye, so they called up the black guy. So you can, see, you can use this. You can use this here on The Five with Juan. You can call, I can call you a prop, but I would never do that. The fact is, this sort of criticism can be applied anywhere that there are blacks and whites together. That's my point. Wherever you see an olive br branch between a black person and a white person, somebody can say, ha! The white's using him as a minstrel, and the black is seeking power. You can say that now for everything, and that's why it's so dangerous. Why not just take it for what it is, which you're seeing people actually having a dialogue. When you reduce somebody to a minstrel, or you, make, or, or you, or you have the gall to actually bring up his late mother to make a point, in which you use his late mother as some kind of vessel for your own envy. What I saw there, Lem, I saw Lemon who felt, Lem, a person who felt ineffectual, who felt that he's not part of the game. So he sees what's going on in the White House and Lemon in his brain is saying, why can't that be me? That's not fair. I should be there. And so he went after this guy because this guy has the guts to stand up and take the slings and arrows. If CNN were around, 2,000 years ago, the C would stand for crucify him. Mm -hmm. Jenna Jai, what do you think about, especially the c comments that he is mentally ill, and that, yeah. that to me felt a little over the line. Over the line, and what bothers me about this is that they've infantilized Kanye. This is a guy who's been very successful. He's a successful businessman. He went in there. He wasn't just talking nonsense, as some have said. He was talking about stop and frisk. He was talking about what he cares about. I mean, what do you think? All these celebrities that went into the Obama White House, you think they were all policy experts? They all went in and they sat down and they were a Dana Perino? No, they had an opinion. They cared about issues. They went in. They made their case. The criticism from the right was not 
personal attacks of those people. It was not saying things which have been said about Kanye, that he's dumb, that he's sick, that he's a madman, that he's a traitor. All of that has been said about Kanye. People were saying, when, when folks on the left were going in, uh, celebrities on the left were going in to, to meet with Obama and all that, the commentary was, well, this is typical because, you know, Democrats and Hollywood are hand in hand. No one was going out there and saying personal attacks, oh, 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 George Clooney is mentally unstable. This is over the line. This is because they cannot handle dissent. They cannot handle dissent. And as someone who has lived in New York City her whole life, I taught it. I went to Columbia University. I taught in liberal academia. I can tell you that when you stand out, there is a pattern on the left of having to marginalize that person, of having to point out that there's something wrong with them, of having to drive them out. They are now trying to ruin this guy's career and ruin his credibility. And they're going to stop at nothing. And I have a real problem with that. Whether I agree with Kanye or not, that type of behavior should not be accepted. By the way, but, Greg, I just I, I don't I just don't want it to go without comment that I don't think I'm a token or. A, but you a, see my you see my point no, about the I argument. I don't see your point because I don't think anybody would say that to you, Greg. No, my and point is think, anytime. And I, and I don't think that, given my record as a journalist, yeah. I don't think there's any way that you'd say, oh, but gee, people, does Juan Williams the I'm talking about the superficial looking at American color. News people show? looking at color and going, oh, there's a black no, person and a white saying, person. Greg, I'm I saying it could be used anywhere. As a white person, I wouldn't say. I would say, listen, what could be a token. This is what Jedediah was saying. Let's look at the substance. Let's make a judgment. Exactly. And when I looked at the substance, I saw nothing but a public relations okay. stunt put on by the president and maybe Kanye deciding it helped his reputation. I am the token short person here. Right. <laughs> that is true. Uh, what? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> no, a token, right, I'm the token male right. short person. Thank you. Let's be specific. All right. I thank you. God bless you and may he continue to bless the nation that has showered this land with love for more than two centuries. Thank you all. God bless you all.